everyone, Melanie from JarofStress.com and I'm finally back! Yes! Sorry about being missing in action for the last couple of weeks. It's been, it's been horrible. I just want to forget all about it. Anyway, I'm back today with a process video for a scrapbook, a traditional scrapbook page, stra scrapbook layout. Um, I showed you the picture I'm going to scrap. It's pictures of my cat. Well, it's not my cat anymore, it's my mom's cat. Uh, from 2005, so it's not the most recent of pictures. Um, and I'm starting by cutting a piece of watercolor paper, and it's 11 and a half by 11 and a half inches, because my paper is A3 and not, um, you know, I don't know what. Anyway, I'm showing you what I'm going to use. So those are acrylic inks by Dale Rowney, and uh, a few months back I put them in a mini spritzer bottle. And because I didn't clean my bottle at the time, uh, they were a bit hard to um, to get going. But once I got going, they were just fine. And the colors are turquoise, uh, yellow ochre, that's the one I'm having trouble with at the moment. And the green one is... I can't remember what it's called. It's a very pale kind of yellowish green, uh, but it's iridescent, so it's quite pretty. And I'm adding more... Blue. Uh, what I wanted to do here was to recreate the kind of colors that are on the picture. Um, the green around my cat are quite blue, bluish green, so I wanted to recreate that. And I think it turned out very pretty. Uh, it's, I, I did end up putting more paint than I intended to, but I quite like it. See, I'm quite happy with the color. All right now, and I'm not really sorry that the uh, it's that the white is getting blown out and and very bright sometimes. It was probably a very sunny day, and I'm scrapping by the window, so every time the sun is shining, it's the white get very very white. <coughs> so I'm setting all of that, and the beauty about those inks is that they're permanent, um, so I could add many layers over that, and they wouldn't move. So now, and now I'm going to struggle. Uh, 12 by 12 layouts are not my thing, really. I'm not uh, a traditional scrapbooker. Um, I'm trying to get better at it, and so that's my first of many layouts. Um, I only do one every so often at the moment, like maybe one every three months. <laughs> I'm going to try and do one a week from now on and, and, and just get better at it. Um, so I'm dis I have decided to mat those um, those photos. I'm going to use two of them with some very cheap um, double-sided tape, and um, I'm matting that on white cardstock. It's um, it's an A4 piece of cardstock, so I've got a bit of waste, but I don't mind this kind of waste because I can always use that to make you know project life cards or to um, make banners and stuff. It's, it's it's never lost. I use a lot of it. And it was a bit crooked, so I need to align it a bit better. And I'm trying to decide what I want to do. And I'm going to melt, because my um, cut, uh, my watercolor paper is very um, wrinkly from the, the water I added to the, to the background, I decided to tape it quite tight with this double-sided tape which is a bit cheap and that's not going to work out very well I will have to go back and add some score tape because it will keep lifting from the background and that annoyed me immensely so here you can see me trying to um, to um, flatten it out and the cardstock was basil something uh, I bought it locally it's a nice green. It worked perfectly for my pictures, which was nice. And I'm also going to go on a, on a weird... My idea for this layout was to be very white and bright. So my background is already quite busy. And for some reason, I decided to add some papers. So I want to add a little bit of red, because you can see there's some red in the, in the picture. Um, and here I'm showing you that it's buckling quite badly. So I'm lifting it off. That's the beauty of cheap tape, is that it lifts without too much damage. Yep, there you go. And I'm going to use my score tape. I should have done, I should have done that in the first place. 
but I couldn't find my score tip. <laughs> so yeah, <coughs> no shame here. Uh, I finally spent the 10 minutes I needed to find my score type and I'm adding a few layers of it on the side and really I should have added some in the middle as well but um, yeah I will know for next time um, score type is probably my favorite thing in the whole world I'm going to be very sad when this this roll is empty I will make sure that to order before to order some more before I'm done with this roll it's amazing score tape. Amazing. So now I'm going to put that down and score tape is very sticky so uh, if it doesn't go straight first time then it will stay crooked because there's no lifting it up from the page. And so it's going to buckle in the middle but that's okay as long as the edge starts um, you know, as long as the edge are stuck down, I'm fine. And here I had to move this. So you see, I've added some strips of papers, um, one perpendicular, um, one top to bottom, and two uh, from side to side. And I'm I'm trying to go with it, but I really don't like it. <coughs> and I know I don't like it at this point, but I keep I keep pushing. And so I'm going with those foam stickers, which are remarks in daiquiri. So it's a very pretty lime green. It works very well for this um, layout. And that's my last E, so I, I was quite limited um, with my titles and I decided to go with On the Hunt at this point in time. That's also going to change um, because Prune the Cat is and was at the time, I'm pretty sure she still is, always on the hunt. She was always looking at the birds and rodents and whatever and bringing them home for us. It was so nice of her. <laughs> She's a very sweet cat. Um, uh, so yeah, I, I decided to go with that and um, and then I'm going to leave it for a few days because we all got sick and, and nothing was happening in the house. And here you can see me, I've removed the picture, I've removed one of the strips of paper and I'm removing the stickers, which thankfully doesn't, don't, you know, stick down too well, well enough, but you can lift them off. And then I'm removing those strips of paper because I really didn't like it. And there was no damage to the background, just a little bit of colors had been lifted here and there, but it didn't look damaged, if you see what I mean. And here I'm removing the... And here are my pictures. And now I decided to move the pictures because she was looking on the on the, those two pictures, she was looking in the same direction. I, I found it a bit odd to be on the left side when she was looking towards the left side. So um, I wanted to change that and I'm going to reuse those strips of paper but I'm going to cut them down and I'm going to, sorry it's a bit off camera, you're going to see hopefully, here you go, what I'm going to do. I've decided to uh, use those strips and cut them, cut them down and mat my pictures um, with them, with those little bits and I like that a lot better in the end. I'm still using the same colors, I'm still using... I did like the colors I had chosen for the papers. Uh, but I didn't... So here I'm trying to see if I want that to be in the corner. I, I'm, I'm not going to leave it in the corner. Um, but I, I like where it's going at, at this point in time. And we're going to... I'm using more of the red, I guess. But we see less of it and it's less obvious I guess I don't know if I make any kind of sense because you can see just behind my cat on the right uh, on the first picture you can see a little bit of red and on the other picture it's on the left of her there's a little bit of red and I'm also going to use this grey because my cat I keep calling her my cat because she will always be my cat <laughs> Even if I haven't lived with her for nine years. Nine years. Yeah, nine years. Um, 
Yep, that's my son sending me his uh, mystery pack of... I'm not quite sure what it was. You can see the papers moving next to me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to mat that. And I'm much happier with how it looks. And I'm going to use more of this tape because the tape that's on there at the moment doesn't stick much because I've lifted the pictures so many times. Oh yeah, and also at the beginning you've noticed that I've had put uh, the pictures on two different mats and then I changed that, that and put it on the, on the same white mat. And I'm also going to change the title because while, I, um, while the on the hunt was true of her, she was always on the hunt, um, that those pictures weren't showing that really, so I decided to change. I just watched, I just read an article about um, Jon Snow in, in Game of Thrones and him being in the Night Watch and stuff like that, so <laughs> I decided to change that to Garden Watch, and I find it a bit more appropriate, because she was actually watching at the time more than hunting. And those stickers are amazing. They still stick down very nicely, despite being rough handled and 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 moved and so yeah. Um, there's not much left to it. <clears throat> I'm really admirative of people who use a lot of embellishments. I. I haven't found a way to make them work yet, embellishment for my pages. Um, I really like white, plain backgrounds, and I know my background is definitely not white and plain. But if you could, if I were to show you my previous layouts, it's so much whiter and plain. <laughs> uh, finally, you know, I'm admiring all those people who can do very plain, not plain, but very how can I say, a lot of negative space and a lot of white and, and this kind of thing. And I'm struggling with doing it for myself. And and this is the first layout I've made that I'm happy with how it looks. So here I'm going through a few bits and pieces I'd cut with the leftover papers. So those are flowers that I punch with... Um, craft bunch, um, flower craft, little flowers thing. They're not very big, they're about maybe half an inch. And I'm thinking of doing like a diagonal, but that's I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put left them at the bottom. I'm going to use this tag because I'd made it, so I might as well use it. So that's one of the things I've used leftover uh, cardstock when I'm mounting my pictures. I made a tag. And um, yeah, I'm going through things. Those bows I've made with uh, a paper, sm paper sm smooches, paper smooches. I'm going to say it. Um, baby bow dye that I showed in my previous video. The whole thank you and stuff. Um, and I really like this dye, and it makes those cute bows. And this bow is going to move. I'm not going to leave it here. And the light has changed again. I'm going to, in the end. I'm going to mount it on uh, a foam square because it wasn't laying flat on um, on the picture. The picture because of the paper in the back of the picture, it's a bit raised. So yeah. And uh, oh, I forgot to say that the the uh, words. The, the letters uh, are from Studio Carico. It, they were in the um, Project Life kit a few months back, maybe April or May. <coughs> I'm not sure. Uh, and those flowers I'm also mounting on teeny, 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 tiny um, foam squares so that they're raised off the page. And... And I'm going to do my journaling. And at first I wanted to do my journaling in white. And so I'm using um, a Signo gel pen. Uh, Pilot, I think it's Pilot. In white. And I quite liked it, but um, I'm going to change that to black eventually. 
because it's a bit hard to read. And all I'm saying is that uh, Prune was always a garden cat. We found her in our garden um, in my in my parents' home when they were still living there, and she loved the garden. She, uh, when it, that's my my mom's new house. Well, new house. It's nine years old, so you can't really say it's a new house. Um, and she was always in the garden looking at the the flowers and the birds and everything. And here I'm going back with another gel pen in black and, and that's not working so I'm going to change to my trusty um, ballpoint. There you go, I've changed it to my ballpoint. And you see I've uh, added a little bit of thread to my um, tag as well. I'm going to show you a few close up. So here it is. There's not many embellishments um, but because the background is so, I'm showing you the dimension on the flowers. Because the background is shiny and 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 colorful, um, I think that's enough. You let me know what you think. You might tell me that it's rubbish, and that's fine. <laughs> I like it. I'm happy with it. Um, it's a direction I want to go to in the future, um, even with less stuff on the page, maybe even. Alright, that's all for today. I'll, I'll catch you guys soon with some Project Life. Have a nice week everyone. Bye bye.